All right, so the first application is a return. They were approved back in February of 22. The minutes are attached. Um, I believe it was fire damage. They were approved at that meeting. These are the revised plans. These were the plans that were approved February of 22. So this is what the so new application. The new, and this is what was approved back last year. And Kyle, are you able to share? Um, hi, Vladimir. Are you guys able to share the pictures? Because I don't have the yeah. physical pictures here. Yeah, Daisy, uh, I will do that. Thank you. Just let me know when you're when you want me to start. You can start now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this is, uh, I'll share my screen first, and so this is a second story. Okay, I'm sorry, please continue. Yeah, so it's a, sec it's a second story addition to an existing house. You could see that the house was badly fire damaged. Um, some pictures. This is the front. That was the garage side previously. This is just working our way around the front of the house. Um, the, the, you know, the, the fire damage, the smoke damage was, was pretty much for the, throughout the entire house, but the visible damage is on the opposite side of the house. I'll just take you all around the house. It's the back of the house. Um, so essentially the house is being completely rebuilt. Uh, the existing roof is coming off. It's being resided and the obviously the, the entire interior is being um, reconfigured and, and, and fixed up. Um, here are some pictures of the neighbors. So these the next three pictures of the neighbors on the right, the left and the front of the house of our house. So that's one house. This is the other house. And this I believe this I believe this one is directly Mary across Scott the street. What? Mary Scott no, was Mary originally. Oh really? But same owner. I don't know. Um because it doesn't have an owner's name. There was a fire after this approval. What what generated the no. No. It was approved after the fire. It approved that fire and they just rethought it and absorbed. I'm sorry, go ahead. Okay, yeah, and then um, let me just uh, switch over here to this is this is the design for the new house. This is so like I said, this is a the, the roof comes off the existing house. We're putting a new uh, steeper pitched roof and uh, to create the living space on the second floor, we are dormering out um, the that second floor to give us just the right amount of space up there. So you could see, I'll just walk you around. Here's, this is the front of the house, this is the front elevation, the elevation that you see from the street. So we're gonna use a uh, new seven inch exposure hardy plank siding. Uh, and I believe it's Arctic White. Is that right, Kyle? Arctic White? Yes. Yes. Yeah, Arctic White. So the, the existing brick veneer, which is, you could see here on the bottom, is going to get a, a whitewash to it. Um, the, um, the, the entrance over the front door is going to have a decorative standing sea metal roof. The rest of the roofing is going to be a dark charcoal color. And all the windows are going to be um, white double hungs with um, with a PVC casing around them. So that's that's the front of the house. This is the side of the house. So here you could see the, the red dash line is the existing roof. And um, you could see the new roof is much steeper, much more architectural roof and allows us to get the second floor over there. Side of the house. 
This is the opposite side of the house with a new garage door and a new garage uh, entry from the driveway side with a new canopy over both of them. And then the back of the house. The brick is from the existing house. Did I see brick in the Yes, photo? it's from the yes, existing. The existing okay. Yes. The existing house has brick. Oh, it has a lot more brick, or maybe not. Well, no, it's the same amount of brick. I mean, the, 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 the first, yeah, I mean, the, 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 that, that really hasn't changed. Uh, you yeah. know, the plate height for that first floor and the garage brick hasn't changed. So that's all uh, really the same. Yeah. It just looks different because you have the dormers. It looks minimized, not a bit. My other question is on the, well, I guess first question, just curious, what, what generated this whole change from the last design to this is just- A new owner. Okay. I, I felt owner, it was a little, a little boxy. Ahead, yeah, I oh, thought- so you're I the owner. Just, you're the owner. Yes, and okay. I, I just felt it was a little boxy. Um, the house to the right is beautiful. We tried to somewhat mimic it. I didn't want to do the same exact house, but it, it plays off of that a little bit. What's the Westchester design team, LLC? That's, um, that's our company. That's what we purchased it under. So it's me, my brother, oh. and my sister that own it. Okay. okay. So my other guy is on the west elevation. It looks like you've, you've got a vaulted space over the the first floor room and there's you know there's almost no fenestration up here i almost wonder why you wouldn't want to do something more interesting on the elevation and also bring some clear light in from up above this is in the two bedrooms so mm -hmm. that so wait, what's what is this, this is over here oh. so here you got the big vaulted space and then yeah, you've yeah. got uh, some open mezzanine space i don't know what that is so did you guys you know the the second floor that the whole west elevation seems odd fenestration. So I well, actually lived um, in a ranch for years myself. I raised uh, four children in it, and I always wanted a little bit more height for just for family gatherings. I love that aspect of the height on that end to put like a massive Christmas tree. I never had a place where I can put a tree. I've never had a place where um, you know, we had that. So I just thought it was a, it was something that I always wanted in a home. And that's one of the reasons why no, I suggested you'll, you'll it. Love, that's fine. You'll love it. I think it's great. I'm just saying is if you're in the room looking to the side wall, you have nothing but solid. You, you don't have any. You're you, just saying you add some, more windows. It's some interesting window pattern up to the top. Yeah, I mean, there's, 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 there's plenty of windows in the front and the back, and there, there's a two-story space in there. And if I go to the plan, maybe it'll make a little bit more sense. Um, but you have no windows on the side of that second-story vault, <laughs> right? Nothing. Yeah. So, so if you look at the if you look at the second floor plan. So this there on the second floor there is there is um, uh, essentially a mezzanine up there and there is a, a guardrail and it overlooks the first floor two story space and the space on this side wall there is really just a little bit of a nook in that mezzanine um, and then you know the, the rest of it is just overlooking the 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 second uh, the, the first floor. We felt that there really didn't need to be a, a window there. There was plenty of windows um, uh, on the first floor level and in the shed dormers, both in the front and, and the back. From the, from the exterior, it looks like a blank wall. It's really more of the perspective from the exterior that we're concerned with on this, this elevation. So you may feel like you're yeah, like I, I mean, but I mean, you know, it's... Uh, a, a window there doesn't really make or break the design, I don't think. And, you know, yeah, that gable is, is you know, there's no window there, but there's, there's plenty of other windows. 
in that wall, which makes sense to the interior of the house. It's, it's not really an attractive facade. And I, I think for people who live there, you get losing the opportunity to get beautiful and direct light into that vaulted space. So these windows on, on that, um, I don't know, Vlad, if you can point to it near the, where the door is to the right, those are massive windows. I think they're what, like 72 inch windows? from floor to ceiling. And then above that space, uh, the dormered part also has windows. Um, I think it translate, it would translate better than the photo. It, it's just, it's a beautiful look. I mean. Kyle, uh, Kyle, the board, they, what, what the ARB is asking, they want <laughs> you to put a window right over here. Oh, that even side. Yeah, yeah, that side. So even, oh, I see left. what you're saying. Sorry, and, I'm confused. You know, I thought it was a front. So over the sliding glass doors, you've got all that blank space. We're just talking about that elevation. The I, other I, elevations. Look there's good. an opportunity that you've created this nice volume of space that you're not confined to just a regular sized window. It could be a it could be a different window. It could be a couple stacked windows. Um, I, I'm not. So I'm not we, averse to that. I, I'm not I'm averse not, to that. What if we do a skylight at that top part? Would that they're, they're talking, they, the want, they want the, they want the, oh, they're the not concerned wall. about that. I'm sorry. You're not concerned right. about the inside. I mean, like I said, I'm not, I'm not against it. I mean, you could almost group to win, you know, do some sort of, you know, you've got one you, on top of the sliding glass doors, you've got blank space. You've got one double lung window to the right and you've got blank we, space up above. You could do some, you know, there's all sorts of windows where there's a curvature or an arch or a, or you could have, you know, clear story rectangles. I wouldn't add, add an arch. That we, can't, so we can't do an arch. It's very straight, no, but I, no, I wouldn't do I, an arch. I, I don't know. What would you say? I think, well, it's just look, not, I, think, I think Bob's just saying there's a great opportunity that you've created this nice volume of space, and that's just going to be a, 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 a solid wall. A solid wall in that, yeah, in that you particular know what? space. I don't, so, more, I'm uh, happy so with more me, light. Let me let me just say this: there we can't put a window on the first floor because we need the wall space. That's the only wall space that is in that room. And I'll show you the floor plan, and you can see that. Here's the floor plan of that living room. This is the only solid wall we have there, so I can't put a window there. Um, but okay if, with that. If, but up top, up top, you can. Yeah. So so if 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 the owner is not opposed to it, we could add a window to the. Um, to, to the second floor up higher in the gable end. Can you line it with the other window and also with the ridge line? Can those all line up somehow so there's some... Well, that's not lining up with it. No, no, no but the, there's a, could the peak at that window A to the left? Yeah. That split over a little, the way to line stuff up so it would look like it's got a reason for yeah. being on that wall. So how, how yeah, would that work if up. that space is all open there? It would just be a window that window? you can't you can't get to. It'll be yeah. It'll exactly. It'll be a yeah. window that you can't yeah. open. It'll, so it just like a lighter. picture window. Just like the dormer window. Well, it can look room. it can look the same, but it it's not going to necessarily. Well, it'll be you know I, it, 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 it really it'll it'll. it'll, 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 it'll I think to make it look right, it it'll, it'll probably need to be. Um, you know, a, a double hung window, even if it's never opened or closed because you just can't reach it. It would, that, that window would essentially, if you look at the floor plan, you can see, you could see sort of a double line here, which is the window below. So that window would be in the two-story space, but it would be just beyond the guardrail. Okay. Maybe they couldn't shift up without three inches, wouldn't change anything. I'm just saying, you know, I mean, to me, to me, the window doesn't make sense in that location. There's plenty I, of other windows. I don't windows think I like it. Space. I don't think I like and, it either. You know, I, I don't think adding a window here makes or breaks this elevation and detracts from the overall aesthetic of the house. And maybe it's just that you, you know, looking at this, looking at a straight-on elevation, it's really an artificial view. You never experience the house that way. You know, you're 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 always looking at the house um, in in, on, in in some angle. You know, so I like here. You know, you're always experiencing the house somehow. You're never looking at it straight on. So I think when you look at the house on an angle, 
and you look at everything together as a composition, that wall is not, you know, it, uh, to me, it offensive. stands out even more in the 3D model. I don't think so. I well, disagree. that's my opinion. It's, yeah, I think it's yeah, nice also to telegraph the space inside. You've got this nice vaulted space in there, and you're not showing. That's what I, I'll, I'll be quiet. You guys. I, I, I completely agree. I, I think I think the board has just brought the brought to your attention that you have a nice you've created a nice two story space and it just seems a little little wasted or the opportunity is wasted to be able to do something different with the windows and that in that particular area. We can't tell you how to design your how to how to where to put the windows and what type and this and that. But um, I think we're just bringing a point. Well, I think so we're like, requesting though that you put something there. <laughs> um, Kyle, do you want to? Kyle, so look, it's, it's very I don't, simple. I Kyle, actually, do you want to add a window there? I don't like the window only because the front windows and the fireplace are going to pay, play such a huge role in the in that room. I don't really want someone. I I don't. I just don't like the window there. And, I, and I've seen plenty of ranches, mine that I had as well, where we had zero windows on, um, you know, yeah, both that, sides of the house. They may not have had to go you front of the floor. <laughs> and they wouldn't have had this. Yeah, this is not exactly the range. I, I don't, because of, well, I'm going to make, again, the fireplace such a huge focal you, point. I think we're going to request that you play around with it a little and then talk about it a little bit more well i mean i, th I think that, i mean there's there's really there's i don't know what you mean by playing around you either are, are going to disapprove this design without a window that's that's basically what i'm hearing is that right isn't there enough windows in the front especially that second floor addition right there and looks great. Looks very nice. Just, the front looks great. We're just we look at all four sides the, yeah. of the house. And then there's going to be like a nice chandelier in there and whatnot. So I didn't really want that window. And on the top floor, on that section, the mezzanine, there's going to be like a closet. So it's going to be it's going to be obstructed anyway. I, I don't think a window will obstruct the closet up there. Yeah, there's no closet up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's like a closed portion on that side on the top part, like attic space. I don't know. I don't really like the window, but if we have to put a window, I mean, we have to put a window. Yeah, I agree. I think there's. I think there should be a window there. So. Yeah, I don't think the window has to be up high. I think it'd be on it could be on the same level in that living room. I would just add another another window adjacent to the existing single one there. And then you have two double windows there. That that leaves you some space. Well, they said that they, that's the only wall. Right, but I mean, but what if they had a three square, feet less of wall? Is, is what if it was like a tripart window? Yeah, it doesn't have to be that one. We. We do not want to add another window on the first floor. Like I said, there's not enough walls. Yeah, we, got we, we understand. Yeah. We're, not, we're not asking you to do that. We're asking you to look at putting something above the window that's there. Um, yeah. We're not telling you what kind of window. We're just we'd we'd like, like you yeah, to. We'd like you to think about what, what looks best to you, but something to put more fenestration on the facade and to reflect the vaulted space. You could you could use window type D or T directly above that single window. Right? It'll still let in some some bright light into that space, make it look a little taller, especially if you're on that mezzanine level. Yeah, like this. I need that. If you could just literally attach it to this, and it was three squares. That would you know. This way it would it would match the same dormer V window up above. Um. Does that make sense? Kyle? Yeah. Can you yeah, go I mean, to the I, outside I again? No Kyle, the, you're not, you're not going to get an approval without putting a window in that gable end over here. So 
Okay, so does that mean we have to come back with other plans and go through this again, or just add a window and we're approved? I... It, well, you add, you, we have another applicant. If you wanna talk about it without us and come back in a few minutes, if, if you can suggest something and, and, and we agree to it, it up, then you then... can just hand draw it in and we'll approve it tonight. Okay. 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 Yeah, okay. we'll do that. Okay. We'll do that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Is this our next? Uh, no, our next one is actually here. Oh. Do you have Sabrina's plans? I'll share with you. It's under your. Is this the same thing she she put in the link, or is this something new? I believe so. Oh, I reprinted those. Oh, you did. All right, right so I'll go through it with this guy. These are pictures. Where's the little plane? It's not familiar. Hello. Hi there. Hi. Hello. How you doing? Sorry. Let's go park. Let's go Good evening, I'm Peter Kurth, the architect. Sherry Harris, the owner. Hello. This is Paul Kurth, my wife, and Hello. technical assistant. Mm -hmm. If I had to put this on a thumb drive, mm -hmm. would never, never, never have <laughs> So, um, do you want to pull the pictures up and we'll discuss it? Or just... We have the pictures here, we have the plans They're here. Little. You have... Yeah, you can see, well, you can see 31. from looking at the, the photos, so uh, you can see the homes, you can see the original homes, the ranch houses that were never renovated versus the two-story, more substantial homes that were renovated. Well, this one was definitely. Yes. That was a knockdown. Yeah. So uh, uh, we're trying to upgrade this house to 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 achieve that that level of improvement. Um, the for this particular project, the bulk of the work for this phase, really a two phase project. The bulk of the work is in the rear of the house, and for that approach, we we basically we're going to blend. The aesthetic of the rear. If you see the pictures of the sides of the house, both sides are, are short gable ends, and that's not going to change much. Um, let's see. That's just the so you're taking it so you're taking it Yeah, the foundation and. You look at the elevation. Okay, that, that's the new rear elevation, and this is the front elevation. And the, you know, we're all concerned with uh, improving this? The, the streetscape yeah. uh, of, of the project. And, and, and our dilemma was that the most of the addition is to the rear. So we do have a plan, a, a phase two plan uh, that would, and I didn't include it in the package because I didn't want to confuse what we were applying for. Uh, it's going to be a bump out of the living room, uh, front portico, and foyer. Uh, and that, if you look at this and compare this drawing to the elevation, because what we're doing now, the only impact to the elevation now is this new master suite over the garage. So, oh, so wait, where's the front door okay. on this elevation? Yes, that is staying exactly the same for phase one. So the front door is here, you turn it. Yes, okay. that's right. Uh, but the there's eyes up here now? What's that? The design is this high? Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's. that's the this. That's the roof right. one. Okay, yeah, right. 
Okay. So you can see, this is the new element. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have this dormer here in the, in the master bath suite. But phase two, the reason they didn't do the phase, they wanted to move the back project forward promptly. And the front requires a zoning variance because we're pushing out uh, the, the front of the house is exactly 40 feet from the property line. So any, any push outs or bump outs we do to the front requires a, a variance. So all of this work is phase two. I didn't include it on the application because I didn't want to confuse what we're doing now. The bulk of what we're doing now is to the rear. And the only- And you're confident that you'll, you'll you're confident that you'll get approval from the zoning board uh, that you'll I, be able to do uh, that. I, I think- Because the design kind of- Yeah, I, th I, I think uh, what we're asking for, given that the, the front uh, uh, existing uh, uh, line of the uh, front, front elevation is exactly 40 feet. So we're a asking for maybe five to 10 feet. And I think historically, those variants have been granted. Especially with neighborly support, which, you know, I think uh, our client has polled the neighbors. Well, we're not the zoning. I'm just asking mm -hmm. because what if they, no, you know? No, but, but I say, but, but the point I'm making is that because you're looking at aesthetics and this, is the only impact on the street. And it just relates to, in a way, the, the existing front, which is basically all roof, as you can see. But we felt that this phase two, which we're hoping to get, uh, would make better impact and curb appeal uh, on, on the streets. So you change something here. The deck is a little different on that, which is... Well, yeah, we had... Uh, which is... Yeah, that is... This is the, that, that, don't refer to this. Okay. Like, <laughs> just, just, just this one. Yeah, we, we originally that, had... Yeah. We originally had... There are decks there that we were going to replace, but... Uh, so so we I, should be looking at this? Yes. Okay. That, uh, that, that they opted not to have these decks, just have steps going down to a patio and grave, which is a lot cleaner, Mm -hmm. And it just relates better to the backyard. No, that's fine. I just wanted to know which. Yes. Well, and I'll see. You can use this. This this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this one compared to that one. Okay. So we took pictures of all the surrounding homes. Uh, there's a, a, a cross street to the right of the home. Um, and I think we, on Google Earth, we um, we showed a diagram where each house was. Yeah, that sounds so for my note purposes, I know we're talking about the front. I just need to know what, what's happening in the rear so I can put it down. Okay, rear, uh, rear is a bump out. Uh, could be more specific, but at my plan. Well, these plans are accurate, Sean, what they Yes. Yes. We we basically bumping That's out in here. bumping out the the house ten feet to the rear. This enables a larger dining room and a much larger kitchen. The kitchen is very tiny now, and, and a separate dining room. And there's also renovations to the we a new pantry. The mud room is being redesigned. Uh, the garage is pretty much the same, but on the second floor, uh, and, and, and this is a one-story addition, on top of that, uh, from the second floor, there's going to be a deck. So you could, uh, you could go from the second floor master suite out onto the deck. And above this, on the second floor, is the a new walk-in closet, new master bath. The existing bedroom stays the same with the exception of the doors going out to the roof deck. And the 
submit it to the zoning? No, no, that, that's going to be a phase two project probably next year. But we felt that the 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 addition that faces the street uh, now without this is, is aesthetic. Uh, it's an upgrade to the front of the house and it blends with the existing uh, house. What's the current skin of the house? Sorry? What's the, what kind of siding is this now? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's going to be hardy plank. And what is it now? Hardy plank. It, well, there's a, there's a brick, existing house. there's a little bit of brick in the front. Right, but this is hardy plank? Or no, 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 not yet. Okay, so what, where I'm going is, is, um, it looks like you're putting a nicer upgraded skin on the new parts of the house, right? Yes, he started doing what, that. Yeah, but in this the, is going to be old. So what's that going to look yeah, like? So it right, so in the front? For, yeah, the front of the house that you're not going to change today. What's that well, that, well that, that material is brick. The, uh, right. Oh, no, the, the, it's, it's plank on that section uh, where your hand is, is brick. This is it's painted, painted brick. white. Yeah, yeah, but this no, it's under the bay window is hardy plank. And hardy plank. This is hardy plank. Oh, we can't see because it's yeah, a yeah, it's yeah. Okay, so and, 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 and the material for now. <laughs> the back is all hardy plank, and that's going to just match what's there. Okay. okay. And this is brick, you're saying? Brick. Yeah, I didn't know if it was all aluminum size or something. We don't. Um, we don't trust that. No, no, for the existing old system, right? It's an older house. Yeah. They didn't build them with party plan back in the day. Uh, yeah, you're correct. Right. Um, he did it. He upgraded it to okay. the hardy. Great. Yeah. I think Bob's just saying if this is aluminum and this is all hardy, oh, no, no, this no, isn't no, gonna no, happen for a year. That's what he's saying. It's gonna no, work. It's back. all it's all hardy and brick. Okay. Fine. And uh the, the, I'm going to recommend to the client to do a little pruning of the front <laughs> shrubs. <laughs> no, you can get some light in the, you don't get room. You don't get uh, the, the, the impact from the street. Uh, when I was taking pictures, it's hard to get okay. the whole house. Okay. Yeah. The thing is, yeah, they, yeah this, this set of plans here, I'm, I'm fine with. Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean, it's got a nice scale. It looks, yeah, looks like it belongs with the rest of the house. Thank you. So. Okay, you're approved. Phase one's approved. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, well, thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Uh, you can, uh, you, if you want to keep this to your file. Uh, uh, I can't. Probably not. Because no, because approved. you may okay. change the design. Have a good evening. Thank you very much. I guess we'll last, so you're, you're done. Okay. You're done with us. So. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Till next time. Yeah, thank Bye. you. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Hi. Hi. Oh, can we come back or should we wait a few minutes? You can come back. Okay. I'm just going to let him know. Do you have to let them in, Daisy? I'm sorry? Do you have to let them in? Or no, no, they just have to mm -hmm. turn their camera on. Okay, he should be, and I think he's just adding the window. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> now my screen. How's that? Oh. No. Here we go. Works for me. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I like the smaller one better. That's fine. Yeah. It yeah. just fills in that space. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, that's there, there's a ton of different options and you guys hit it off on the first one. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Can you email that to me now? Sure. Thank yep. you. You got it. All right. All right. You're Thank, Thank you for Thank working you. with us. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thanks, Vlad. Thank you. Bye. Good night.